in Shelby Township. Firefighters are training to keep a fire under wraps. And this giant fire blanket is for a very specific type of fire. And these were bought specifically to help us out in the event of electric vehicle fires. As more electric vehicles hit the road, the more fire departments must be prepared for the potential of things to go wrong. We'd rather have something uh, prepared in advance than wait for the disaster to happen. Car fires are nothing new. They typically can be put out in minutes, but electric cars burn differently. It can take four to five hours to extinguish a battery fire. Um, and then after that, once a car goes over to a tow yard, they've had those fires reignite even two or three days afterwards. And that's all due to the way the batteries in the vehicle are positioned. And once they start to burn, it goes into what's called thermal runaway. So in thermal runaway, the one bad battery um, lets off enough heat and enough, and enough smoke that it causes the battery next to it to start on fire. This blanket can take the heat. It has Nomex in there, the same type of thing that our fire gear is made out of. So it'll withstand temperatures in excess of 2000 degrees um, to help suppress those flames. Smothering the fire, cutting off the oxygen and making sure the fire stays out. A fire blanket like this is a one time use deal, meaning they'll cover up the vehicle that's on fire and leave it that way, even as it's towed away to the salvage yard so it won't reignite. Not only does the blanket save time, it saves water as well. And thanks to a grant secured by the Macomb County Emergency Management Department, the firefighters will know exactly how to use it if the need should arise. They ordered quite a few of these blankets uh, with some grant dollars and then they were distributed to departments within the county. In Shelby Township, Dave Spencer, Fox 2 News.